I'm a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, and, you know, I just, I was really shocked about that, that that could happen. Four teens accused of sexually abusing a young boy at the Clyde Savannah High School. Good evening to all of you. Teresa's off tonight. Police say the assault happened in the boys' locker room. This is the incident we now know that led to the abrupt end of the school's varsity football season. The four teenagers have since been indicted, and they now face a number of charges. Jatyra Marsh joins us in studio with more on all this. Jatyra. Adam, the Clyde police say that on October 31st, they began the investigation on an assault involving a 14-year-old male victim that occurred in the boys' locker room of the school. The parents of the victim were made aware after a video of the incident was seen circulating the Internet. Following this, four male suspects, all minors, were arrested. The district sent out a statement at the time saying the teens were a part of the varsity football team, which had their season cut short as a result. A 17 year old male, two 16 year old males and a 15 year old male. Three of the suspects are charged with aggravated sexual abuse, hazing and forcible touching. One of the suspects is charged with two counts of unlawful surveillance. One member of the community says as a mother and grandmother, she is shocked that something like this could happen and she sends prayers for all involved. I hope he can just get help and get through this and I'm, I feel so sorry for him. I'm so, so sorry. So my, 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 you know, I'm just praying. I'm just praying for the school, and I'm praying for the kids, and I'm praying for, especially for him, the victim. All four suspects were released to their parents and ordered to show back in court on November 15th and 16th. Adam, back to you. Jatyra, thank you. By the way, an order of protection has been issued for the victim in this case.